Hi guys, I know it's almost been a month that I had not uploaded any video, but uh, but the lockdown <laughs> was really hitting me hard. There was so much of work to do at home, and I was also reading a lot. I have finished more than five books in this last one month, and I was writing a lot as well. So do expect a few books coming out, hopefully sometime soon. Today I'm going to talk about the latest Salman Rushdie book, which was released last year. Salman Rushdie, the writer, respected by many, but fewer pick up his books actually to read them. His books are generally considered very complex and difficult and tough to read, which is usually because of his complex sentence formations and the kind of vocabulary he uses. I just finished reading Kishot, as the author wants it to be pronounced, and this book <laughs> may be a little tough to read, but it is not because of the kind of sentence formation or the vocabulary that this book uses. It is definitely a book which I would want people to read, but at the same time, I would also say that this is not a very easy read. It's going to test your patience. It's going to linger. It's going to get boring in places. So pick it up prepared, but it's definitely a book which has a lot to say and people should read it. On the outset, it's a story about a writer who is writing a character who imagines another character who is his son. So if you look at it, it's Salman Rushdie writing about a character who is writing about another character who imagines another character. So it's one thing connected to another, to another, to another. And also what happens is that the author in the novel is finding a lot of answers about his life through the characters that he's writing and imagining. So you also get the feeling that the author of the book, Salman Rushdie, may be experimenting with that idea as well. The whole setup sounds very interesting. And it kind of promises a very fast-paced, fantastical storyline. But what happens is, as the book progresses, there are so many things happening around the book which are a complete total reflection of the times that we are living in. That this whole plot line somehow starts to fade. And the reader also might complain that one doesn't get enough of a build-up every time when something new happens. The book reads like fantasy at times and it reads like science fiction at times and because the writer is writing a book it tends to feel jumpy as well but that kept aside the kind of statements the book is making and the kind of ideas that the book talks about is something which i think we all need to understand and learn there are so many passages which are marked in the book the book is laden with the with the tags that I have put in. But there's one particular passage which I would like to read out for you guys. And the passage goes like this. Maybe this was the human condition to live inside fictions created by untruths or the withholding of actual truths. Maybe human life was truly fictional in that sense. That those who lived it didn't understand it wasn't real. So, so you do understand how complicated the sentences and the syntax may get at times. But what this book tries to say is something which definitely needs to be heard. I took a very long time to finish this book. I think I dragged it almost for a year. But at the end of it, I would say that I was thoroughly satisfied after reading the book because it does have this quality of staying with you long after you've finished it. There are so many tiny little bits here and there which, which just talks about basic philosophies of life which somehow or the other will definitely connect to you and definitely touch you. If you've not read this book, pick it up, try, see how you respond to it. And if you've read it, I would love to know how you liked it and what was your take home from this book. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.